Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's video in my Jessica Christine Halloween series, we are making a healthy Snickers. And I'm so excited to post about this recipe because guys, you know how people are like, wow, um, this tastes exactly like something else and then you go to try it and it really doesn't taste anything like it. Guys, I promise you this tastes exactly like a Snickers bar. It is so insane. So this is a healthy version. I love it because it's guilt free. I can basically eat as much as it as I want um, compared to how much I would eat of a normal Snickers bar, which I haven't had in like three years because I've been vegan and Snickers are not vegan. Well, this is vegan too. So if you are vegan, you can also enjoy it. And it's dairy free for those of you that are dairy free. And yeah, I am so excited. So let's just get right into the recipe. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up. If you did not, please give it a thumbs down. It really helps me know whether or not you liked the video or not. So yeah, um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Okay guys, so I'm going to start by showing you all of the ingredients that we're going to use to make these Snicker Bites. So I showed you the medjool dates, the pound plus chocolate bar I get from Trader Joe's, those roasted peanuts, and most importantly, the peanut butter. I only buy peanut butter that has like two ingredients in it from Whole Foods. I try to stay away from Skippy and Jif because they're like processed. So what I'm doing here is I'm splitting open the date with a knife. I personally just wanted to show you this because a lot of dates aren't already pitted, so you have to remove the pit by doing this. You only want to cut halfway through though, you don't want to cut all the way through because we're going to fill it with things. So I get the already pitted dates from Trader Joe's and that's going to be your best bet, it's going to save you a lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and put about 3 tablespoons of peanut butter in a cup and microwave it so that it melts. You definitely want your peanut butter melted, it's just going to go easier into your date and you want it to be creamy, you don't really want it to be like chunky. So I opened up all of my dates halfway through so that I can fill it with all of the fillings. So we're gonna go ahead and start to put the peanut butter inside of the dates. It's really hard to do with one hand on camera, guys. So I showed you one and then I'm just gonna finish it off all together. And it already is starting to look really yummy. This is a very messy recipe, just keep that in mind. So kind of have like a little product line going on. Um, try to have like an operation going on where you have your peanut butter, your chocolate, your peanuts, and everything like that. So now I'm gonna take a handful of peanuts and my bowl, I think this is called a muddler, but I'm not sure if you know, leave in the comments. I definitely should have looked that up before I started filming this. So I'm gonna take a handful of the peanuts and start um, crushing them, basically. And again, very hard to do on camera, so I show you the end result here. You want it to be very tiny pieces. And then you're just gonna take your hand and you're gonna pinch a little bit on each one. You don't need like a ton on each one, but what this is going to do is it's going to give you that crunch that you get from a Snickers bar. So I went ahead and did one and now I'm going to show you what all of them look like. Guys, it's already starting to come together. It already looks so delicious. And now I'm going to take my pound plus bar. It's over a pound. That's why that's the name of it. It's vegan. It's dairy free from Trader Joe's. I love this chocolate. And I'm going to melt it in the microwave. I used about half a bar in total to do all 22. And because it's coming out clumpy, you do want to make sure that you stir it. This is going to get rid of any clumps that you have in your chocolate. And then you're just going to take a large tablespoon and pour that over your date. You want to make sure that you cover the date completely. So that is what half of them look like. Look really good. Some people like to put coconut oil and mix it in with the chocolate to make it shiny, but I find that this chocolate just already comes out that way. So I went ahead and did all of them and it looks so yummy. It looks messy and it's going to, it's completely okay. So all in all, we ended up using half of that chocolate bar and now I'm just gonna stick them in the freezer. You can stick them in for about 30 minutes to an hour. I usually try to do an hour um, just to be on the safe side. And then if you're not gonna eat them right away, you can put them in the fridge and they last for a very long time. So yeah. Guys, you guys are going to love this recipe, and now I'm literally going to show you me eating it, and you're going to see how good it is, and you're going to be like, oh my god, I need to make this right now. 
So, yeah, guys, it's just, like, phenomenal. I can't even get over it in this video, and I cannot wait for you guys to try it and make it, and, yeah. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.